Hey everybody, what's going on? Chris here, otherwise known as CF Racing, and today everybody, I'm going to be doing my 2023 Formula 1 livery rankings. I pulled up a random tier list that I found on Tier Maker. I'll link it down in the description below so you guys can go check it out. You guys can tweet at me. I might believe my Twitter's like cf underscore racing i think so something like that or at cf racing 25 you guys know my twitter links in the description just tweet me at it tell me which liveries you think are the best which ones you think are the worst and yeah let's take a look at the categories so first the category for like the best livery i have simply simply lovely because you know there's some liveries out there that are simply simply lovely then the second category is amazing third one we got mid fourth one we have please change next year and then the last category of the ugly cards i have burning my my eyes because some of these liveries maybe one maybe two is not very good I'm gonna be honest and it's a lot of corporate stuff that we really don't care about we just want to see a lot of good liveries seems like there was a trend this year where a lot of cars are going just going full black like we saw Mercedes Haas has gone black McLaren has added a lot of black to their car pretty much every car especially Alfa Romeo as well has just added a lot of black and just no paint exposed carbon fiber to save weight so that might play a little bit of effect into liveries but who really knows also last thing before I get into the tier list if you guys are new here and you enjoy simple simulation content or just any formula one content hit that like button subscribe share with your friends join the discord link is in the description down below we're almost at a thousand members i love it if we can get there also hit that like button for face cam yeah what's up we do this sometimes all right let's get this started with mclaren honestly not one of my favorite liveries i did not like the livery last year sorry mclaren fans please don't hate me i'm a biased ferrari fan by the way um just letting you guys know that as you can see i'm wearing a sebastian vettel hat so clearly no bias in this video but mclaren it, the livery is okay i don't really like the going full like black orange and then that light blue i think that light blue is more of a golf blue i'm not really a big fan of it if they can go back to maybe the 2021 20, 2019 2020 car liveries i really liked those mclaren liveries if they can go back to them it's just orange and blue or maybe if they just make it orange and black then i think it'd be a lot better but now i'm gonna throw it in the change next year because i don't think this design's working for them i know they have a lot of sponsors and all that i don't like the chrome on uh the wheel covers or on like the engine cover but what can you do that's just sponsor stuff and i think it looks better without them but either way mclaren please change your livery next year alpha tauri when this first came out in the initial render where they have like a shot of Yuki and I was gonna say Yuki and Pierre but Yuki and Nick DeVries standing in front of it in this like New York tower or something I thought it looked pretty nice then I saw the renders and I saw this like bright bleeding my eyes red from Orlin and I know Orlin pays a lot of money to be on their car like let's be honest that's the only reason why it's really standing out on the car I do not like the wheel covers I think they're ugly on this car uh, I don't like the red I think it's ugly maybe if they remove some of it and put more Italian flags on there that would be amazing because we all know Alpha Tower is the Italian team but honestly I think it is the worst livery this year and I'm gonna throw it in burning my eyes the Haas livery Ooh, I love a good black Haas livery. I was a big fan of Rich Energy, big fan of what they did. I believe it was 2020 in their last year with Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen, and now they sort of brought the black, white, and red livery back, and it's just amazing. I like it. I mean, the MoneyGram logo is meh, whatever. I would prefer it not to be on the car, but overall, I think it's a really good livery. It looks good on the track, and I think it does stand out compared to the other black liveries that we have, so I'm going to throw the Haas in the amazing tier. Next up, we have Alfa Romeo, and this livery is chef's kiss. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm a big fan of anything that Alfa Romeo does. If they want to sponsor me, let me know, Alfa Romeo. I will gladly, like, be an ambassador for you guys, because I just love all the liveries and all the stuff they got. And soon, they're turning into Audi, and I sort of, this is sort of an approach that I think they're going for here. We all know Audi is more of a black and red. Obviously, these guys are black and red, and it obviously goes back to the fact that they are trying to save weight with removing all the paint on their car. So the whole middle part of the car where it's black is basically carbon, which I think looks pretty cool. I was a bigger fan of it last year with the white. Unpopular opinion, but I do think the white was better, and the Alfa Romeo was my favorite car last year. I'm going to throw the Alfa Romeo in... Ooh, is it in... It's in between Simply Simply Lovely and Amazing. I'm going to throw it on the top of the Amazing because I did not think initially that there was going to be a livery better than this Alfa Romeo and it would have been up there, but there are better liveries than that. So, Alfa Romeo, you're staying in uh, Amazing. The Aston Martin. 
I like the livery last year more. I don't know why they got rid of the black on the little fin. I thought that, and the black and the little like tea, uh, fluoro neon stripe. I thought that was one of the best parts of the livery. And the fact they got rid of it really sucks. Um, honestly, like I like the Aston Martin. It's really hard to go wrong with Aston Martin green. It's such a beautiful color and same with like the fluoro stripe. But last year's car, I think looked a lot better than this year's. I'm going to still throw it in amazing because literally you cannot go wrong with this Aston Martin livery, but I'm going to throw it at the bottom of amazing because I do think last year's was better. But then again, Alfa Romeo or not Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, still a beautiful car. Maybe uh, throughout the season, they'll probably put more black on it. Honestly, that's what a lot of teams are going to be doing, but who knows? I'm going to throw it in amazing because these three liveries. I'll throw it ahead of the Haas, actually. I'll do that. I don't think it's better than the Alfa Romeo, but I do think it's better than the Haas. Ooh. Next up. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what to, to say about this car. I'm, like, literally at a loss for words. The Mercedes automatically i think it is the best livery i'm a completely biased mercedes hater um but this livery is glorious like if they went to gray it, like probably would have been in burning my eyes like they did last year but this year simply simply lovely this mercedes livery is just amazing i love the black and i know it's for paint saving <clears throat> I love the black. I know it's for weight saving, but honestly, I feel like the black Mercedes is more iconic now than the silver Mercedes, considering we haven't seen it in a couple years. And this car just looks like a car that will fight for the, the world championship. And I have to throw it in Simply Sibly Lovely, one of the best liveries I've seen probably in my lifetime. And I know it's just a black car with a fluoro green neon stripe, but the way they do it looks amazing. And I have nothing bad to say about this livery. Speaking of liveries, I have nothing bad to say about the Ferrari, also a car going in the Simply Simply Lovely. Honestly, a red and black Ferrari that doesn't have a green mission window sticker on it is a beautiful car nonetheless. Like anytime it doesn't have a mission window sticker on it, the Ferrari looks good and I think it looks good. It's a real debate whether Ferrari's ahead of Mercedes, but I mean, personally, I think Mercedes is ahead of Ferrari in terms of the livery right now. So I got Ferrari and Simply Simply Lovely. I could just see myself buying all the merch for this because that's just what I do as a completely biased Ferrari fan. And I love this livery. I will do my best to get a scale model of this car because it looks fantastic. I know they're like $300, but whatever, C clearly worth it. Let's, let's say it's a tax write-off or something, but this livery is so, oh, it's so good. I The one thing I don't really like is a little black car been around the Seva or Siva logo, but I know once again, like all the liveries, saving weight because getting down to that weight limit is pretty tough apparently. But either way, that Ferrari on track, we saw it in the launch, looks amazing, and the car is just simply, simply lovely. Red Bull. This, this is a very divisive one. It's really all the opinions of people are like, oh, I hate this car because it's the exact same as, you know, since 2016 pretty much. But like, the livery's good. There's, there's really nothing wrong with the actual Red Bull overall design. I'm going to throw it in mid because I'm getting bored of it, and that's pretty much what a lot of people are saying. I'm sure if Red Bull changed the livery and just say this year was the first year of this Red Bull design, people would have been like, oh, it's simply, simply lovely. But I'm going to throw it in mid because it's just the Red Bull livery. It's a great design. Literally no real need to change it. So I, I, I can't I can't put myself to put in an amazing because I'd get flamed in the comment section. But I'm going to throw it in mid because it is still a good livery, and that, that car just looks fast and it's going to win races. Alpine Alpine what do I think about the Alpine oh I don't I love the wheel covers and I like how the front wheel covers are blue and the back wheel covers are like more pink I think that stands out a lot and I really do like that I do think the livery is just kind of mid because black blue and pink don't really work together if it was just like Honestly, if this was just the straight up pink livery, I'd throw it in amazing because I love the pink livery for Alpine, but it's the the blue, the black, and the pink. They don't really correlate well together. It's not, it's not please change. Is it please? I think it is please change next year worthy. I'm going to throw it ahead of that because I do like it more than the McLaren, but I don't like it more than the Red Bull. I mean, I think it'll look good on track because all the other cars are black and these guys are like, hey, bright pink, nice. But right now it's just got to be in please change next year. And last, but certainly not least, I have Williams. And this is also another one that is divide, like changing up a lot of opinions here. I think the li livery is kind of mid. It's just, it's just Williams. And I know a lot of people like the Duracell battery at the top of like the top of the car where the air comes in, but it, it looks kind of ugly in my opinion. It's really good for marketing wise, but for like livery overall aesthetics and all that, 
I don't really like it. It doesn't fit with the car. Maybe if there was like the red Duracell, I know there is a red Duracell battery. That's sort of like their theme or whatever. And they mix that with the red of the rest of the car that they had last year. I think that would look a lot better. Right now it is mid. I honestly, you can throw it ahead of the Red Bull. I like it more than the Red Bull. The car looks nice. I just can't throw it in amazing. Cannot throw it in simply, simply lovely. And I don't really think they need to change it next year because Williams has finally found a design that they want to keep and good for them. I like the design overall. Maybe if they weren't saving weight all the time with tanking all the paint off they could do more but right now this is this is really all they got and honestly this is probably the most paint they're gonna have on the car considering last year the car is basically just a black carbon car at the end of the season also i do like the the wheel covers i think they look really nice much better improvement than last year so guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video, and this is my official uh, 2023 livery tier list. If you guys did enjoy, and you also want to show or, um, share your livery opinions in the comment section down below, I'll read them all. You guys know I will. That's just what we do in these parts. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Join the Discord links in the description down below, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.